Hello everyone and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 2. In this episode we will try to get the Kerbal onto Moon. If you haven't played uh, KSP1 or if you want to refresh your memory with some um, basic mechanics, I suggest uh, using the training center. It has some nice videos and uh, some nice tutorial missions that will uh, introduce you to the KSP and also some uh, KSP2 mechanics. But um, let's get to the uh, VAB and build a spaceship. Okay, so let's discuss about uh, the UI uh, for a second. Um, you have here, like it was in KSP1, <clears throat> the menu with uh, sorting by different types of um, components. It's the same, uh, if you mouse over you'll see everything that you need and uh, we'll build um, a rocket in a moment. A couple of things that are added um, are at the bottom. The way you can see... The way you can see the... Um, the rocket, so you have a 3D model. Uh, you can also look if you want to uh, access the symmetry better from the front, from the left, from the back, from the bottom, or from the top, of course. And you can return to normal. A couple of things that are also new. Uh, now you have the workspace orientation, uh, the VAB, uh, it works for both planes and rockets. You have the symmetry, um, the snap uh, icon here that allows you to place um, with more precision the components. You have the selection tool, the rotate and translate tool, and you also have some anchor and um, launch assembly. And you also have a color manager where you can actually paint your ship, your uh, plane, whatever colors you want. We have here an engineer uh, report, a part manager, a tree planner, action group manager, which was also in previous one, and a Kerbal manager to select your Kerbal that you want to uh, take into space. So let's try to build a simple rocket that is able to uh, land on the moon. Uh, we're not planning to um, do a, a round trip. It's just one way. So. You can start in multiple ways. What I like to do is if I want to visit a celestial body, uh, you have here a um, trip planner where you can set one way trip or round trip and select your celestial body. So I'll select moon. You'll see here the delta V um, required for each uh, phase of the trip. So getting into low orbit, uh, it will cost you uh, 3,400 3, uh, Delta V. And uh, also to intercept, to uh, set, to capture um, <clears throat> orbit uh, for the moon, it will take you 280 and for the moon surface 500. So an estimate will be around uh, 5K Delta V. So I'll try to aim for that. We'll start with some um, basic parts like a lander. Uh, we'll go with tin can, which is the smallest one. We also have the MK1 Explorer, but it's not uh, that aerodynamic. This is mostly for uh, landers that are maybe uh, under fairings. But we'll get to that. Um, maybe in a uh, future video. Okay, so we have uh, fuel here. If you want to make a lander, uh, we will need some uh, legs for it. Okay. One new thing is for the symmetry now, if you press X to change the symmetry, it will go from one to eight, then it will go to um, 
the way that you want it when you're building a plane and you can uh, cycle through all of them or what you can do is uh, right click on it and you select whatever symmetry you like so let's get some uh, engines we'll go for the spark engines no not the spark uh, this one's the terrier which are uh, really nice for uh, vacuum they have like uh, 335 um, ASP we also want some landing gear and let's go with these simple ones we want to make sure that if we extend they are below our um, engines here One other thing um, changed in KSP2. Previously in KSP1, when you right click on a um, component, it will display a window for that component. But now you have a parts manager where uh, you can access it um, here. And you can select and change settings for all of the parts on your bracket. Okay, let's put some nose cone here. And now we have our lander. Okay, maybe we need the nose. Let's put a parachute. We, we won't use it because we're not returning with this ship for now, but it will make the racket uh, aerodynamic. Okay, so engine uh, engineer report displays a lot of things that you will uh, need to plan your uh, trip and how you build your uh, ship so you have the thrust to weight ratio uh, you need to have this above one if you want to um, have a lift off so that means that the gravity won't pull you back you will have more trust than uh, the force of gravity you have the total mass the dry mass and some other uh, things that you might want to take a look at like the height the weight the how many parts maybe in career mode you'll have a limit for how many parts you can uh, build your ship with like in ksp1 but for now what we are interested in is the trust to weight ratio and we also want to see the trip planner here one thing you can do with this window is uh, make it smaller like this okay so we need around five uh, thousand uh, delta v so let's uh, get a bigger fuel tank we want to use a decoupler here smaller one and get some um... oh no not this one we want the one which is from small to medium the nice thing that they added is the um, uh, size of the parts you have extra small small medium large and extra large and now you can uh, match your uh, components uh, easier than ksp1 which is really nice okay let's also add a big fuel tank and an engine a medium engine will go with the main sail or how this looks like our trust to weight ratio is above two which is uh, really nice but we actually don't need that much but we have our required delta v so this is what we need to get to the moon you can also 
get some um, parts in, but like a heat shield, but we're not gonna retrieve this vessel like it is right now. So let's just get it to the moon. Let's see, let's bring, I don't know, Bill with us. And you can also build, if you want, some lamps. Let's uh, oh, come on. You can focus when you're building the the ship. You can focus on a particular uh, component by middle uh, mouse click. So now we center on that nose cone. If I middle mouse click here, this is in the center. If you play the tutorial, you'll also see some other controls that you probably know or uh, want to know. Strats, I don't think we need strats. Um, it's, it's quite stable, so maybe we can get some... Um, stabilizers, themes here. Some smaller one. Okay, and let's make sure that we have the staging uh, properly ordered. So we have the engine that will go when we uh, decouple here. Then we have our decoupler and let's make sure that we don't um, activate the parachute when activating the engines here. Okay, so let's name this Moon Lander Small and launch. Okay, so here at the launch pad, I have around 30 FPS. My settings are on low. So, graphics, V-Sync is off, Antilizing off, everything. Uh, it's on low or off. Maybe environment props should be also on. If you have a better graphic card, uh, you can turn the settings higher. But from what I've heard and seen, uh, some people with like um, better graphic cards still have FPS drops a lot. So let's start. We have lift off. Maybe trust. Uh, set the engine trust lower. And let's start making a gravity turn. Here you have the navigation bar. Um, the nav ball. So, a couple of things that have changed now. You have the assist here, and you have the prograde, the retrograde, up and down, and north south when you are near the surface of a planet. You have stability. 
here that we can uh, set target uh, or maneuver target and anti target. Okay, so the app axis is here, and let's aim for around 80k. Then we'll make a maneuver node. We can switch from ground to sea, um, the height here, and the orbit or surface. Seems like I'm going down. No, I'm not. Just that trail. Okay, so in the map view, let's set a um, maneuver point here. Circle our eyes and get the periasis is. 78 this one is too much okay so let's reduce a bit it should be better it's 76 and 86 okay. you can still um, Toggle the um, the points on your um, navel. I mean, not navel, but the periapsis and apapsis. If you right click, but if you edit the maneuver node, uh, that will disappear. Hopefully, they will change uh, this back like it was in uh, KSP one. Okay, so let's warp to the maneuver. Oh, we're almost there actually. 22 seconds. It does show how much delta V you need uh, when to start the burn, so not before half and uh, after the maneuver node half of the burn, but just when it reaches zero, you'll start the burn and it will tell you when to stop the burn. We can also see that we'll have to use the other stage also. The periapsis is increasing. Okay, so let's ditch that. Oh, because I changed the maneuver node, it resets this one. I think we are... we have enough. Okay, so that shouldn't happen. Because I changed the staging uh, and I had the maneuver already set, it didn't recalculate. So that's why that happened, but there's no worries, we have... Uh, we were still in orbit, so it's it's okay. So let's uh, set the mon as target and create a maneuver point. And here we have an intersection. So this displays where you enter the sphere of influence of the man and where you will exit it. You can also see here the, the points where you enter and exit the sphere of influence and the periapsis that you'll have there. If you hit the middle mouse and you uh, hold it, 
you are able to move in the map view and if you hit home it will center your ship again okay so let's uh, target the maneuver node and in three seconds we can trust set the trust at 100 percent and here we go to the man we can also time warp while burning which is really really nice especially with those uh, low thrust power engines in space or where you have like a long way to to travel okay, now let's time warp here So, bye bye, Carbon. Hello, man. Actually, enter. Uh, we don't see the trajectory here, but I think this will be fixed soon because a lot of people um, sent this uh, feedback. Okay, now. We are in the sphere of influence and we'll create a maneuver node here. Well, actually, we don't need the maneuver node, we just need to get there because we'll burn retrograde and we'll uh, go on retrograde. Okay, so let's see the periapsis around 50 kilometers should be fine 50,000 I mean okay let's see if we can uh, meet our other ship that we have here let's set this as target and time warp to this point. This is on the dark side of the moon, so we'll um, do some circles around the moon. So this will be on the light side of the moon. Okay, let's do one lap. This is almost in the sun, so let's do one more. Oh, come on. Don't slow down. Okay, so I think we need to change the inclination here. So what we want to do is around here, I think. Change the inclination. Probably the crater would be around uh, here. So I think this should be okay. This will cost us 100. Uh, Delta V, we still have 1,400 left, so we are okay. The FPS now are around uh, 15, 20. Okay. 
Okay, let's time warp to the maneuver node. And slow down. And I think this is okay. Looks about right. Okay. Now what we want to do is warp over here. Okay, let's burn a retrograde here and will we get the crash around there, I guess. We'll correct it uh, when we're closer to the crater, so let's time warp and admire the view. extend the gear we're not quite aligned but we can fix that so our target is over there oh, okay you want to So when using the navball, uh, if you are burning retrograde, you need to point on the opposite side of the target. So you have the target, your retrograde and where you're pointing. And when you're going towards the target, it's the other way around. We have the target between your prograde and your uh, pointing. Let's check. I think we're gonna land before it. Okay, yeah. So let's burn a bit up. Oh, there's a mountain there, I guess. The surface velocity is too high. Need to fix that by burning retrograde while closely above the Moonlander. So I think we are almost on top of it. Let's try to align it better. And now we'll just fall next to it. Okay, so now we're going straight down. We can speed up. We have 1.5k kilometers above the ground. Crashing trajectory. 
Well, hopefully not. Mm, I don't see my ship. Oh, there it is. I think I see it. Let's decrease our speed. We want to hit below 10 meters per second. And we have touchdown. There, we have another spaceship. Not spaceship, but like small lander next to the previous one. So here we have Bob and here we have Bill. Now they're friends. And we can exit, enable RCS. And go meet the neighbors. Should have used some different uh, colors. But uh, there we have it. Let's see. What we did square? I don't have it as a target. Oh, I guess this is how it shows it. Yeah. Cool. We have our first, I mean, not the first, but our first encounter, <laughs> um, terrible encounter on the moon. I'm planning to um, cover more of ksp2 in the future so missions on the other planets and also hopefully the career mode will come soon after the performance fixes and some bug fixes so we can start a proper career in this game until then have a great day bye bye